Humankind is just far more interesting when people can go and journey amongst the stars. It looks like a line from a Star Wars movie script, but this is what the CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, said when he talked about the next project his company is working on. Exploring space and watching the Earth from above has always been everyone's childhood dream, but he always thought it was not possible unless you're an astronaut working for NASA. But this dream is nowadays being worked on. In fact, that is what SpaceX's actual project is about, to make space travel available for almost anyone by decreasing the cost and improving the reliability of access to space. The company SpaceX is working on a project called Inspiration4, the world's first all-commercial astronaut mission to orbit. Jared Isaacman, a 37-year-old entrepreneur, founder, and CEO of Shift4 Payments and an accomplished pilot and adventurer, will command this mission with a crew alongside him of three individuals from the general public. The Inspiration4 crew will undergo a special astronaut training by SpaceX as well as handle a mission simulation to prepare them for every situation they may face during the mission. How did this project come to life? What is SpaceX all about? And who is this pilot entrepreneur who will lead this mission and what are his motives? SpaceX, where it started and how it came to this. Everything started in 2001, when Elon Musk had a project of landing miniature experimental greenhouse to grow plants on Mars. To make this happen, Musk tried to buy Russian rockets, but failed due to their unaffordable prices, which made him think of another way to acquire rockets without spending a fortune on them. That's when he realized instead of buying them, he could build those rockets since the price of raw materials for building them is incredibly cheaper than the sales price of the rockets themselves. And that's how SpaceX was founded in 2002. SpaceX is an American company created in 2002 by Elon Musk with the help of his business partner, who was a rocket engineer at that time, Tom Mueller. The first HQ of the company was in a warehouse in Segundo, California, and during that time, it only had 160 employees compared to 8,000 in May 2020. Its main activity is developing and manufacturing launch vehicles, rocket engines, and aerospace engineering, but it has also developed the Dragon cargo spacecraft and the Starlink constellation. In December 2010, SpaceX was the first private company ever to successfully launch, orbit, and recover a spacecraft called Dragon 1, which was a class of reusable cargo spacecraft that they developed themselves. Moreover, they were also the first private company to send humans into orbit, then to the International Space Station ISS, in May 2020. The Crew Dragon Demo 2 was the first crew test flight of the Crew Dragon spacecraft named Endeavour that was launched on May 30, 2020, on top of Falcon 9. Douglas Hurley and Robert Bankin were announced as the primary crew on the 3rd of August 2018. Both astronauts are veterans of the space shuttle program, and the Demo 2 flight was the third trip to space for both of them. The lead flight director for this mission was Zebulon Scoville. They were both backed up for this mission by the NASA astronaut Kajel Lindgren. In August 2020, the capsule returned to Earth. The spacecraft landed by parachute in a body of water, and the crew was recovered by SpaceX's recovery vessel, an offshore supply ship called Go Navigator, and the mission was declared successful. The company is actually working on a project said to be revolutionary, which consists in a mission to low Earth orbit, which will be the first crewed space mission to fly with only civilians on board. The mission's name is Inspiration4. Inspiration4 commanded by Jared Isaacman. Inspiration4 is the world's first all-civilian mission to space. It will leave Earth from Kennedy Space Center's historic Launch Complex 39A in October 2021, the embarkation point for Apollo and space shuttle missions, and travel across a low Earth orbit on a multi-day journey that will continually eclipse more than 90% of the Earth's population. The Dragon is the spacecraft that the crew will board to and from Earth orbit. It is the only spacecraft currently flying that is capable of returning significant amounts of cargo to Earth, and is the first private spacecraft to take humans to the space station. The rocket carrying the spacecraft will be no other than the Falcon 9, a reusable, two-stage rocket designed and manufactured by SpaceX for the reliable and safe transport of people and payloads into Earth orbit and beyond. 
Falcon 9 is the world's first orbital class reusable rocket. Reusability allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. The commander of the flight will be the 37-year-old founder and chief executive officer of Shift for Payments, Jared Isaacman. He is also an experienced pilot who spent his 20s performing in air shows. In April 2009, he has set a world record for circumnavigating the globe in a light jet, making the flight in 61 hours, 51 minutes, and 15 seconds, about 20 hours faster than the previous record of 82 hours. In 2012, he co-founded Draken International, a Florida-based company that trains pilots for the United States Armed Forces and provides tactical fighter aircraft for contract air services, including military and defense industry customers. The young entrepreneur, whose net worth is two billion US dollars in February 2021, will also be the financial backer of the flight. And he's taking St. Jude Children's Hospital with him as the commander of the world's first all-civilian mission to space by reserving two of the flight seats. His crew will include, as for the first seat, a St. Jude ambassador with direct ties to the mission representing the mission Pillar of Hope. The second seat's pretender will be raffled off, representing the Pillar of Generosity as part of an effort to raise over 200 million US dollars for the hospital. Isaacman has committed to giving 100 million dollars to St. Jude. He said, Inspiration 4 is the realization of a lifelong dream and a step towards a future in which anyone can venture out and explore the stars. I appreciate the tremendous responsibility that comes with commanding this mission, and I want to use this historic moment to inspire humanity while helping to tackle childhood cancer here on Earth. Isaacman will partner with Shift for Payments to provide the fourth seat, representing the mission's prosperity pillar to an entrepreneur who has used the new Shift for Shop e-commerce platform to launch their business through an online competition, a great way to enhance the name of the company he founded 21 years ago. The achievement began in Jared's basement. Shift for Payments is a payment processing company founded in 1999 by the then 16-year-old Jared Isaacman in his parents' basement in Far Hills, New Jersey. At first, it was named United Bank Card. At the time, it generally took merchants about one month to set up a payment system, and merchants had to pay for their credit card readers and sign a lengthy application. As an alternative, Isaacman's new company cut the setup time to one day, gave merchants free credit card readers, and only required merchants sign a two-page application. In 2012, United Bank Card rebranded as Harbor Touch to better reflect its point of sale and payment technology. The company rebranded once again in 2017 as Lighthouse Network, with Harbor Touch becoming a subsidiary. Between 2014 and 2017, the company expanded by acquiring multiple payment processing and point-of-sale companies, including Merchant Services Inc., the same company Isaac worked for as a teen. In 2017, the company, then operating as the Lighthouse Network, acquired payment gateway provider Shift for Corporation and rebranded itself as Shift for Payments. It is now based in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and it specializes in commerce solutions such as mobile payment software and hardware. When the company went public in 2020, Isaacman was still the CEO. Book Recommendations Being a leader in any field, especially in entrepreneurship, requires knowledge, discipline, and consistency. It certainly takes effort to keep learning about what the world has come to in order to stay in line and not be crushed and left aside. And that is exactly what Elon Musk has been doing since he was a kid. Whenever anyone asks him how he learned to build rockets, he says, I read books. Reading has been shown to enhance confidence, decision-making, and empathy. The following are books recommended by Musk himself. Zero to One, Notes on Startups, or How to Build the Future, by Peter Thiel. In Zero to One, legendary entrepreneur and investor Peter Thiel shows how we can find singular ways to create those new things. It presents at once an optimistic view of the future of progress in America and a new way of thinking about innovation. It starts by learning to ask the questions that lead you to find value in unexpected places. Super Intelligence, Paths, Dangers, Strategies by Nick Bostrom. Super Intelligence asks the questions, what happens when machines surpass humans in general intelligence? Will artificial agents save or destroy us? 
Nick Bostrom lays the foundation for understanding the future of humanity and intelligent life. Consider Flabus by Ian M. Banks. The first book in Ian M. Banks' seminal science fiction series, The Culture. Consider Flebus introduces readers to the utopian conglomeration of human and alien races that explores the nature of war, morality, and the limitless bounds of mankind's imagination. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. This piece of art is a novel that mocks modern society with humor and cynicism and has as its hero a hapless, deeply ordinary Englishman, Arthur Dent, who unexpectedly finds himself adrift in a universe characterized by randomness and absurdity. SpaceX is set to change the world with the Inspiration4 mission and will make space traveling from a childhood unreachable dream to a simple trip. Billions of dollars are being invested in projects that will continuously impact mankind's lives in a direct or an indirect way. And the perfect example for that is the fundraising led by Jared Isaacman for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. More and more entrepreneurs are being involved in similar works, which makes it an interesting and profitable field and will probably influence young entrepreneurs in the near future, creating new companies that might achieve far more than SpaceX.